In question 40, when a gas obeys law, PV square is equal to constant in addition to the equation PV is equal to mu RT. If the temperature of the gas is doubled, what will be the percentage change in the volume? Notice, student, PV square is equal to constant K, it is given. Now, we know that PV is equal to mu RT. On combining these two equations, we get that VT is equal to a constant. This means that V1 T1 is equal to V2 T2 or V into T will be equal to V dash into 2T. Therefore, V dash will be V by 2. The percentage change in the volume will be delta V by V into 100. That is V by 2 minus V by V into 100. And this will be different minus 50%. That is a decrease of 50%. And hence, the correct answer is option 1. Moving on to the question 42. In question 42, if the degree of freedom of gas is F, then the ratio of two specific heats is given by. This is a factual question. Gamma is given by 1 plus 2 by F. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is straight away option number 1. Moving on to the question 43. In question 43, in accordance with the Kirchhoff's law for black body radiation, which one is wrong? Now, dear student, good absorbers are good emitters and bad reflectors. And bad absorbers are bad emitters and good reflectors. Please remember this. I'll repeat again that good absorbers are good emitters and bad reflectors while bad absorbers are bad emitters plus good reflectors. Therefore, for this question, the correct answer is option number 3 as it is a wrong statement. Moving on to the question 44. In question 44, when an ideal monatomic gas is heated at a constant pressure, the fraction of heat energy supplied which increases the internal energy of the gas is. The student, delta U is given as NCV delta T and at constant pressure, delta Q is given as NCP delta T. You have to find out the value of delta U by delta Q. The student equal to CV by CP that is 1 by gamma. For a monatomic gas, gamma is 5 by 3, so this will be 3 by 5. That is option number 1. Now let us solve the question 45. In question 45, a freezer has a coefficient of performance 9. When 200 kilo calorie of work is done on the freezer, what mass of water at 0 degree Celsius is converted to ice cubes at 0 degree Celsius? The student, the coefficient of performance is given as the heat by work done. Now the heat in this case will be mass multiplied by the latent heat divided by delta W. So ML will be equal to beta into delta W or we can write down that M will be equal to beta into delta W by L. Putting the values, this will be equal to 9 into 2 into 10 raised to power 5 by 80 which will be equal to dear student 22.5 kg. And hence for this question the correct answer is option 3. This student, this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this All India Cast Test Series. I hope you understood all the questions. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching.